Zoo's popular Gorilla World welcomes a big crowd today protected by a brand new barrier. The area closed back on May 28th when a three-year-old boy got into the enclosure forcing keepers to kill an endangered gorilla, Harambe, to protect him. Local 12's Joe Webb was there when the exhibit reopened this morning. He joins us now live with more. Hi, Joe. Hey, Cammy. I'm outside the zoo right now where there's been a steady flow of people going in all day, but we've got a live picture in at Gorilla World. People have been coming in all day to look at the gorillas for the first time in about 10 days. Some coming out of curiosity to see where the incident took place. Some people to see that new barrier, but most of them just to see the Cincinnati Zoo's gorillas. A small army of reporters and photographers were escorted to the Cincinnati Zoo's Gorilla World exhibit for an otherwise quiet reopening. A crowd of parents and small children stood in the same spot where a boy made his way into the gorilla enclosure on Memorial Day weekend. Today, they were kept back by a slightly taller, sturdier barrier with netting. The changes did not block the view of the gorillas and most seemed to like it. This is much, much better from what I've seen in the pictures. Um, either way, it's just tragedy, but I love the new barricade. I feel much safer. I think it's better because how even a four-year-old would be able to squeeze through the, under that, much less through those little holes right there. Gotcha. Only bugs would be able to do that. Okay. I think uh, the old one stood up for 40 years, but this one is better. Jomo the Silverback stared down the crowd for most of the morning, reminding all that this is his house. No one seemed the least bit fearful, but parents did seem to be particularly attentive to their children and surroundings. Small ones were held tightly. I think this whole incident, as well as all the publicity, reinforces the idea that sure, parents and kids need to stick together when they're at the zoo, and also that we go around and check different exhibits, not just this one, and make sure that all of our barriers are up to speed. So it's perfectly safe. Visitors hardly seemed to notice the new barricade. They were here to see gorillas. They got a good, safe, peaceful look and an unspoken message from Jomo that it is time to move on. Now, in addition to the new barrier, the zoo has also installed three new surveillance cameras in, in the Gorilla World exhibit. 43 million people, Cami, have visited Gorilla World since the exhibit, in the exhibit opened, and it's been busy all day. Reporting live at Cincinnati Zoo, I'm Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Cammie? All right, Joe, thank you. A USDA investigation into the incident is still in progress. As we told you yesterday, Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters has no plans to charge the boy's parents, and a spokesperson for the child's family says they will not sue the zoo. Local 12 has continuing coverage of this story on the air and online. You'll hear more about another new layer of additional security ahead on Local 12 News Live.